Hi everybody, welcome back to Sacred Body Studio. My name is Fabi. Are you ready to start your routine? Fantastic. So remember that we are going to go as far as it's good for you and there is always a way to adapt it for us. So let's start. We're going to start this time on our tummy. And we're going to start straight into the movement combined with the breath or mixing with the breath. So let's go. Lie down on your tummy. We're going to move on to the extreme pose. So your shoulders above your elbows, your palms on the ground. Even the here where we are resting in our tummy, we don't let the tummy collapse, you know. We don't let the weight collapse on our shoulders. So we activate our tummy with that sensation of pulling your pubic bone towards your belly button, lifting your tummy, and gently extending our legs on the ground. Your palms on the ground, make sure that your shoulders are above your elbows. We're going to start breathing in, moving your head down, move chin to chest, exhale, lift the head and look to the front. And we're just going to do that. Very simple. Are you ready? Remember your deep and long breath. Let's start. Breathe in, move the head down, breathe out, lift the head. And we just go for seven, breathe in. And breathe out. Let's go for six. And all. Let's go for five. And all. Feel the movement of your neck. Let's go for four. And up. Only three. Waking up the spine. And up, and let's go for a two, up, and just one more, and up, we keep the head up, remember that anytime we're doing this exercise we can close the eyes and just scan our bodies and connect with our body. So now the next one we're going to breathe in to prepare, and breathe out we're going to turn to us to the right side as far as it feels good in your neck. Breathe in, back to the starting pose. Breathe out, move to the other side. Breathe in, back to center. Breathe out, turn to the other side. Breathe in, back to center. Breathe out, other side. We keep going. Breathe in, feel a nice sensation in our neck. And breathe out. Breathe in. And breathe in, back to center, breathe out, turn towards to the right, breathe in, back to center, breathe out, other side. Let's go for four more, breathe in, Let go slow and connect with the breath, that's good, breathe in, and out. let's go for three more, breathe in. And out, breathe in, out, and two more, breathe in, and turn out, breathe in, out, and the last one, breathe in, and breathe out, breathe in, and breathe out. Well done. Now we're going to lie down on our tummy. We're going to move the face, resting your face on the left side, and drag the right knee just beside your hip. This is half frog to help us to release our inner thigh, open our hips. We're going to rest the face on the side to release the neck, and we're just going to rest here. Relax your shoulders, but even when we are relaxing, still keep your tummy in. To don't let the, the arch back and the weight collapse on your lower back. Let's hold four breaths. Breathe in and breathe out. Feels great. Let's go for three and let's go for two. And now relaxing your shoulders and just one more. And now keeping your legs in the same position, we're going to move back again to the extreme pose. Shoulders above your elbows, lift your chest, and we hold here for four breaths. Breathe in, and out. Let's go for three, out. Let's go two, 
and just one more. This pose we're gonna help us a lot for all the three poses of the legs. We need to be a wider our legs like a warrior two. So release the leg, let's swap. So the left leg drag in and we rest the face on the right side. And we're just gonna rest here for breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three, breathe in and out. Let's go for two, out, and just one more, and out. Now gently raise your torso, Move your elbows under your shoulders, leave your face, engage your tummy, and we hold for four, breath in, and out. Let's go for three, and out. Let's go for two, and out, and just one more. Anna. Gently, we release the chest onto the ground, extend the leg, move your hands close to your chest. Remember here in Cobra, for Cobra Sona, you, you keep your pubic bone on the ground, and that is fine. But here I'm going to do a combination of Cobra and Up Dog. So we're going to extend fully the arms. Mm -hmm. We're going to keep the knees on the floor, shoulders down, elbows in, and we're gonna stretch our tummy. Remember when, we're, when we are in this back bend, we pressed with the feet, the front of your feet and your hands to don't let the weight collapse on your lower back. And we pull up our tummy, we look to the front, shoulders down, we hold four breath. Breathe in and out. If you feel it's too much, you can come back and move your elbows on the ground to the spin pose. Let's go two more. Breathe in and breathe out, just one more, and out. Now gently push your tailbone backwards and we're gonna sit down on our heels onto child pose. We're gonna take again the arms onto the shark fin, so palms together, bend your elbows, move your hands behind, and always the sensation of pushing your bum down onto your heels to extend your back and your thighs. We hold four breaths, breath in, Anna, let's go for three. Anna, let's go two. Out, and just one more. Anna. Release, we're gonna move on to all fours. I want you to curl the toes under and we're gonna push our bum backwards just to stretch our toes. And we're gonna hold here to release our feet muscles. Let's hold for four, breathe in and breathe out as far as good for us. And let's go for three and out. Let's go for two out and just one more and out now we're gonna drop our elbows on the ground to dolphin you can interlace your fingers or you can keep your palms on the ground this exercise we're gonna help us to develop a strength but also give us all the effects of headstand which is a stimulation of blood into your brain it helps us for all the functions in our brain and the most important is Moving the circulation in the opposite way that is normally happening, it helps us for the endocrine system and the circulatory system. So ready, move your knees closer, curl the toes under, push your arms on the ground, lift the knees, and this time, if you feel good, you're gonna lift the right leg. If not, just keep your foot on the ground. We hold for four breaths, breathe in, and out. If you feel it's too much, you just drop the foot on the ground, okay? Let's go for two more breaths. Breathe in, out, one more, out. Now 
down gently, drop your foot, drop your knees, lift the elbows, slide the right knee forward, the one who was on the air, slide the left one, we're going to pitch on. Again, if your bum is touching your heel, you can open your foot in, if not, keep it under. We bend the back leg if it's possible with our hand, or we can use a blanket or a belt. We lean forward to sleeping pigeon, and we're just going to rest here, stretching our thigh. Make sure that your hips are square. Let's hold for four, and uh, let's go for three, and uh, let's go for two, and uh, just one more, and uh, gently release your foot back onto the ground, raise your torso, and we're going to twist toes to the right side. If you can keep you. You can keep your hands inside your body, or you can, with your hand, catch the left thigh. If it's possible, if not, hold here. As much as we can twist towards the right side. And here I wanted to lift your tummy, lift your chest, engage your tummy. Use the back foot by pressing the foot against the ground to have stability. Let's hold for four. Breathe in. And let's go for three. And Let's go for two, uh, and just one more, and release everybody, back onto all fours, push yourselves onto dolphin again, so we drop the elbows, interlace your fingers, move your knees closer, curl the toes under, lift your knees, and this time we lift the left leg, we hold here for four, if you don't feel comfy, you can drop your foot. Let's go for three. And let's go two. And just one more. And drop your foot, drop your knees, raise your elbows to move on to all four. And slide the left knee forward and right one backwards. You bend your right leg and catch your foot. You can use your belt. In case that you cannot catch your foot and you don't have a belt, just keep your foot on the ground. And we're just going to lean, keeping your hips square. And we're going to hold for four. And exhale. Let's go for three. Keep your tummy in because it's easy to pop it out. Let's go for a two. And just one more. Slowly drop your foot on the ground, raise your torso, and we're just going to turn towards to the left side. Again, you can keep your hand beside your body or catch your thigh. Press with the back foot to have more stability. Pull up your tummy and your chest. We hold for four. And Let's go for a three, and out. Let's go two, out. and just one more, and release. Back onto all fours, and from all fours we're gonna go onto the poppy. So keep your hips above your knees, move your hands forward. We let the chest move down, and we extend here our arms. Look to the front to allow the chest go lower, so your head doesn't stop you to move more down. Let's hold for four and three, two. And just one more. And slowly move back again onto all fours. And we're going to sit back, move your palms together, bend your elbows, move your hands behind again to the child pose with the shark fin. Remember, keep the weight backwards. Don't let the weight collapse on your head. If not, we don't really feel the stretch in your back and your legs. So let's hold together for four. And three, two, and just one more, and 
gently raise your torso. Remember to always have your deep and long breath. Don't wait for me. Sometimes we crash in the distractions. It's okay. Just keep it deep and long. Move your fist on the ground, everybody. Lift your pelvis. Open your chest. We hold here for four. Breathe in. And let's go for three. And let's go two. And just one more. And out. This exercise is great to open our chest, extend your thighs. In case that you cannot move your hands at the back, you can use your blocks if you have yoga blocks. If not, just hold your hands at the front and sit back as much as give it time to the quads to stretch. Now we're going to sit down, everybody. Moving our legs super. We're going to cross the right leg at the front. And here we're going to, from this position, we're going to lift the right knee and we're going to place the right foot on the ground and we're going to kind of hook the other leg. So one is in crossing legs and the other one is just like a normal uh, bending sitting position. So this is a different position that we're used to doing yoga, so it's fine. Just to help us to stimulate the mobility of the leg and of course, control as well. So from here, we're going to just, we're going to turn towards to the left side. Mm -hmm. We're going to press our arm against the leg. We're going to lift the chest and we're going to just from here, you're going to slide the hand backwards, drop your elbow and we're going to stretch here sideways and we're going to hold here for four. Remember to keep your palm down and we just move gently the chest towards the ceiling. Let's hold for four. And breathe out. Keep your tummy in. Let's go for three. And two. And last one. Now keep the same position of your arm. We're just going to lift the leg. And we're going to catch the leg with our arm and pull it closer to us. If you can extend fully the leg, you go with the leg fully extend. I'm going to turn on the side so you can see me how it looks, okay? So your elbow, you are pretty much on the side, and then you extend. We hold for four, breathing. And if it's not too extended, just pull it with your arm. You keep it bend the leg. Two more breaths, everybody. Breathe in. And you can always flex and point your foot to give a mobility in your leg. Let's go one more. And gently we release. Help it to come up. We keep the legs in the same position. The feet are kind of hooked. And this time we're going to turn and we're going to move towards to the uh, right knee. We hug the right knee. And with your right hand, you help it to lift the chest straight your back to go deeper into that twist. We hold here for four. Breathe in. And uh, let's go for three. And uh, two. And uh, just one more. And uh, well done. Release everybody. Now we extend the arms. We're going to turn towards to the leg and we're going to go down as far as you feel good. Keep your arms off the ground. And we're going to kind of push ourselves towards the leg and pulling the legs towards to you. We hold for four. You feel a lot of stretch in your back, a lot of strain in your core. Let's hold for two. And just one more. Oh, it feels good, everybody. Release. You feel it a lot in your inner thigh as well. So let's change. So first we're going to cross the left leg at the front. We lift the left knee and place the, the left foot on the ground. We kind of hook the legs. Remember that. Mm -hmm. And here we're going to turn towards to the right side. Yeah. You press your arm against your leg. You're going to slide the right hand on the floor to drop the elbow on the ground, your elbow under your shoulder. And the other one just lift up, palm facing down, reach away to stretch our back. We kind of keep in the chest and looking towards the ceiling. We hold for four, breath in. And keep your tummy in. Let's go for three. And let's go for two. Just one more. 
Now, without changing anything, we're just going to drag the knee in. We pull the knee closer. We can extend the leg if it's comfortable. And we hold our leg and pull it in. If not, we just bend the knee and pull it closer. We hold for four. I'm going to turn so you can see me better. Let's go for three. Engage your tummy. And pull the tight close to your armpit. Let's go for two. You can extend your leg if it's possible. Let's go two. Breathe in. Engage your tummy. And just one more. And we release. Well done. Drop your foot back again. I'm going to turn so you can see me. So we're still in this position, okay? So we're going to turn towards to the left side. You hook the leg and you help it with the left hand to straight your back, to push your pelvis forward and straight your back. And we turn towards to the left. It's important to keep our back straight when we're twisting the spine. Let's hold for four. Breath in. And engage your tummy. Let's go for three. Uh, let's go for two. Uh, and just one more. Uh, no. Great. Now from here we extend the arms and we turn towards to the leg and we lean as far as is good for you. We hold for four. Pressing your foot on the ground to give you more strength. Let's go for three. Two. And just one more. And raise, raise, raise. Oh, it feels good. Move your legs to the front. And here we're just going to do gently movements with our hips, but we're going to lean forward. And we just go for five. Four, three, two, and one. Now we can bend the knees to allow us to full forward bend and catch our feet. We hold here for four. Breathe in and breathe out. Let's go for three without pain. Let's go for two. And just one more. And raise our torso, reaching up, and we're going to repeat one more time. So we reach forward and we just move our hips. So our hips go backwards and backwards, backwards and backwards. Let's go eight. Let's go seven. Let's go six. Let's go five. Let's go four. Let's go three. Let's go two. And one. Bend your knees. Catch your feet and forward bend. We hold for four without pulling sensation. Let's go for three, two, and just one more. And raise. Well done, reaching out. Take a deep breath. Breathe in and breathe out. Bend your legs, cross your legs. And we're going to say goodbye. You can repeat the whole session. Just click on the chapter and it's going to bring you back again at the beginning of the practice. And if it's your time to go, well done. Remember, we can do just 10 minutes, 20 minutes, doesn't matter. But to mobilize and stretch our body, that's going to give us great benefits for our mobility, the well-being of our spine as well. So hands back, prayer position, breathe in, arms up. Breathe out, drop your arms. Remember, breathe out through your mouth with that sensation of relief. Ready? Let's go. Breathe in and breathe out. Well done. Again, breathe in and one more. And move your hands back, pray position. Thank you for joining us. And remember to help me put in your life a click to like on the video so then we can reach more people. And as well, leave us a comment. Just an emoji will be fine just to help us to promote more our videos. Thank you and see you in the next one.